What's up guys, Randor Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys a quick review of the Cuckoo Smartwatch. This watch was sent for review, so as always, I'd like to thank Cuckoo for shooting me one of their amazing products for review. And of course, without further ado, let's slice this thing open, check it out, show you guys features, and give you guys my full in-depth review. To open the packaging up, it's pretty simple, just grab a scissors or a knife and just cut open the bottom part here. And just slide it open. And the first thing we're introduced with of course is the watch itself. The Cuckoo Smartwatch is a new product for 2013 and part of a growing trend of smartwatches that connects to your iOS device such as the iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad and soon for uh, Android devices as well. Unlike its competitor models such as the Sony Smartwatch, iWatch, and the Pebble, the Cuckoo Smartwatch is feature limited. However, the company does hold to make up the comparable lack of functionality with a beautiful design and outstand outstanding battery life and low price of $129. The Cuckoo Smartwatch features a unique design compared to other smartwatches currently on the market. What sets it apart is a circular design featuring an analog timepiece with a black digital background giving it a timeless yet modern high-tech look. This particular model here is the all black model which features small splashes of blue on the hour and minute hand as well as each line denoting the hour. As well as the company does offer a variety of different other colors such as pink, blue and white. The watch features four buttons on two on each side of the watch. The first button on the left here lights up the background. The second button here is the connect button to sync your iPhone to the watch. And on the right side you have the mode button in blue as well as the command button on the bottom here. In terms of materials, the straps on the watch are made of silicone which are very comfortable and easy to put on. However, Cuckoo does mention if you're not a fan of this material, you can also switch to third party wristbands so you can easily detach these and install those. Such as metal ones, leather ones, or some other different color. The watch itself is mainly comprised of polycarbonate with a stainless steel backplate as well as a mineral glass front with a stainless steel circular edge. The Cuckoo Watch uses Bluetooth 4.0 technology to connect to your iOS device and hopefully in the future Cuckoo does mention it will eventually work on Android devices as well. However, it's very limited with only new devices such as the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPad mini, the iPad 4th and 3rd generation as well as the 5th generation iPod Touch because those are the only devices that currently have Bluetooth 4.0 technology. The benefit with Bluetooth 4.0 technology is that it's really smart technology meaning that's energy efficient as well as providing, providing you a very strong connection. To connect the watch with the iPhone is very simple. Today we'll be demonstrating it with the iPhone 5 here. First off, you need to go to the Apple Store and download Cuckoo's free app that goes along with the watch. Once you've done that, make sure the Bluetooth on your iPhone is on, as well as on your Cuckoo watch by holding the connect button. Once you've done that, go to the Cuckoo application here, select your device, and just hit the connect button in the middle. Now this picture here is a picture I set up myself, um, however when you first uh, do open this app it would just be kind of a gray background so you can customize it a little bit which is kind of cool. And for those of you who do connect your watch through the iPhone for the first time it will ask you to go through a very, very quick uh, registration process. So once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. The purpose of the app here is just to give you uh, options to customize uh, your device here, for example some command information. If you want uh, notification alerts, for example, Facebook posts, if you don't want that on, you can turn it off. And of course, I'll show you guys a demonstration of, of some of these uh, features. So one of the primary functions of the watch, other than telling you the time, is the alert system that's integrated into the rear display of the watch. For example, we can receive alerts for incoming calls, missed calls, Facebook messages and posts, calendar reminders, your device is out of range, low battery on the iPhone or iPad, as well as an alarm and timer alert. You can actually try out all these notifications by going to the features option on the app here, connect to the watch, and of course you can see all the notifications that can be applied to the watch. So for example, if you receive an uh, email, the watch will beep, vibrate, or whatever you have set it to, and a little uh, email uh, kind of icon here will pop up letting you know that you received an email. To acknowledge that you have received a notification, you just hit the mode button here, it'll stop flashing and it'll eventually go away. Obviously, we don't always carry our smartphones in our hands, so normally in our pocket, backpack, purse, or sitting on our desk. However, a watch is always with you, thus it provides that extension to your iPhone to let you know that you're receiving an alert such as a text or incoming call. Another cool feature found with this watch that's really interesting is the ability for the watch to actually detect when the Bluetooth signal is getting weak uh, from your iPhone. So basically what that means is, say if you leave your iPhone on your desk here, you walk away, the watch will actually detect the signal getting weaker and let you know that your phone is not with you. Now, at first that might not seem very uh, 
uh, you know, useful. When you think about it, for example, let's say you're in a classroom or you're leaving your house to go grocery shopping and you forgot your phone, the watch will remind you uh, that you, you know, the signal is getting weaker and you forgot your phone. So that's, you know, one of the things that it can come in handy. You can also set the watch to have limited music playback when it be my limited. You can pause and play music as well as skip ahead. Unfortunately, you can't control volume, but still, it's better than nothing. It's cool that's integrated on the watch here. So, you just set the command button to hit play. And hit it again to pause the music. And to skip ahead to another song, you just hold the command button for a few seconds. And we'll skip to the next song and hit it again to play that song. On the app itself, as I showed you guys earlier, you can set the command button to different other to different functions, such as dropping a pin. Uh, show you where your location is on Facebook if you want to show that to your friends. Uh, you can also find your iPhone. So pretty much what that does is when you hit a button on your uh, watch and the Bluetooth hopefully is in range, you'll set the iPhone to make a little alarm to hopefully you can hear it and find it, as well as a little Facebook check-in. The app also features an alarm and timer function as well. So if you set either of those, your watch will beep and vibrate to let you know that time's up or if the alarm is uh, set. Another cool feature that the watch has to offer is the ability to act as a camera remote for the iPhone 5. So pretty much how it works is you go to the Cuckoo app here, select the camera tab, and you guys can see we have full access to the iPhone 5's camera. So pretty much what you do if you want to take a large group shot with yourself in it or you know get a wider angle by moving away, you can use the watch as your remote shutter button. So pretty much how it works, if you hit the shutter button here, we're going to take a quick picture of the uh, ceiling and part of my camera it takes a picture from the watch. So it's pretty cool, pretty convenient uh, in certain situations, but definitely a nice feature that the watch has to offer. The watch also does have four notification settings for you to customize your notifications, such as vibrate only, beep only, vibrate and beep, as well as a silent mode for those of you who don't want to disturb other people, such as in a classroom situation. And of course, to switch between all these notifications, such as beep and vibrate, all you have to do is hold the mode button here for approximately six seconds. One of the shining features of the Cuckoo watch is its battery life. Cuckoo does claim a battery life of up to one year if the phone remains in standby mode or nine months of use with the average alert volume. In addition, the watch also has two batteries, one for the alert system with the Bluetooth, the uh, notifications and all that, as well as a separate battery for the analog portion of the watch. And of course, the primary feature of a watch is to tell time. And that part of the watch has a three year battery life. So you never really have to worry about losing track of time, even if the battery runs out on the notification part of the watch. In conclusion guys, I strongly recommend the Cuckoo watch for those of you who are in the market for a smartwatch for your cellular device. Although the Cuckoo smartwatch is limited in features and not as fully featured as some other smartwatches, it definitely makes it up in terms of battery as well as design. In comparison to other smartwatches such as the Pebble watch which only has a week battery life which you need to recharge every week, or the Sony smartwatch which only lasts for 4 days, the Cuckoo watch here definitely outshines them in terms of battery life. As well as it's the only watch that actually offers an analog time display. From my past week of using the device, I definitely see where this thing can come in handy. It makes it a lot more convenient knowing what your phone has received, whether it's an email, incoming call, or even a text, without having to actually take your phone out. In terms of anything I don't like about the watch or anything I wish Cuckoo would change for future generation watches is that hopefully the company will make the watch a little bit more slimmer. It is a bit of a bulky design, but nonetheless, I'd pay for this bulkiness to have a really good battery life that this watch has to offer. In addition, I do wish Cuckoo does offer a longer backlit option. As you guys can see here, the backlight only stays on for a few seconds, as well as a lot more brighter screens so you can actually see the icons a bit more vividly, and hopefully in the future, implement color ID display as well as maybe text messaging displays. But nonetheless, guys, it's definitely a great product for a first generation and new startup company. The watch has a lot of potential, and it's a really great design that appeals to a lot of customers as well as myself. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course if you guys have any questions or comments, ask away down in the comment section there down below, and of course if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down there, and I'll see you on next video. Peace!